members of the Ukrainian community came out to the streets. Some of them were in their cars, and others were gathered at Queen Elizabeth Park. Their message was clear. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, and forever, we stand with Ukraine. Ukrainian demonstrators of all ages are urging the Canadian government to provide more help to fight Russian aggression. I feel stressed out. I feel very worried about my family. It's my parents. They are elderly people. They are in their 80s. My mom has mobility issues. Recently, the Canadian government has offered $120 million loan to support Ukraine. Yet Ukrainians think that's not enough. Well, it's a little embarrassing, I think, uh, in, in terms of support. But they are supporting uh, Ukraine in terms of military training. But, uh, but you know, the additional weapons would, be, would definitely be uh, welcome. After the rally at Queen Elizabeth Park, demonstrators took to the streets. Along the way to Vancouver City Hall, more people joined in. To date, NATO estimates there are at least 130,000 troops on the borders around Ukraine. Protesters say the Ukrainian population is ready to defend their country. But we are strong and we hope all people, all Canadians stand with us because it's not only about Ukraine, it's about the world. I'd like to take a moment of silence. The protest was wrapped up with a moment of silence to honor those who lost their lives for Ukraine. In addition to Victoria, Kelowna and Vancouver, the rally is also taking place in 30 different cities across Canada. Officials are still hoping for a diplomatic resolution to the conflict. Leila Khader in Vancouver for BCIT magazine.